Hey guys, it's Soggy FPS, and I'm gonna be showing you why this season you should be playing Mav. Alright, so the servers are having a great time right now, so let's look at what Mav has to offer. So for the first gun, you have the 50 caliber AR-15, and this gun is nice to shoot. Uh, it's basically a laser, whether you have the suppressor or the muzzle brake, but it only does 67 damage, and the 417 does 69, very nice. And there's only 10 bullets. As for attachments, the AR-15 has every single sight in the game, so whether you want to run the good old ACOG or the 1.5, you're not really limited to anything. Um, as for muzzles, you only have muzzle brake and suppressor, but that's all you really need, especially if you only have 10 bullets. So this gun, while only having 10 bullets, is pretty accurate, like, it's just so fun to shoot. Something about it being a 50 caliber kind of gives you that, like, placebo that it, like, it just shoots very nicely. Um, my aim just feels like 10 times better while shooting this gun, but that's just psychological. The real choice is the M4. So the M4 with extended barrel does 49 damage. And that's going to 3-shot anyone in the game, including a rook wearing armor. What I run is the vertical grip and the 1.5 and the extended barrel. And as for sights, you have the 1.5 and a 2x. So some people are more comfortable using the 2x. But any of these are going to do because this gun is a laser. So at 750 fire rate, you're going to take down people almost instantly. Now I'm sure you're wondering, where can I get this skin? So this skin is part of Elevate's 2023 R6 share bundle for Maverick. And this bundle comes with a lot of good things. So first of all, you get this nice little uniform here for Maverick. And this uniform is really clean. There's a lot of Elevate history on here. It's probably the nicest looking red theme skin in the game. And overall, they did a really good job at the design team. And of course, you get this little headgear over here too. Has the Elevate logo on it. Uh, the red earpiece as well. It's just overall very nice. And to top it all off, you get this beautiful card background with Ellie. And you're not just limited to using it on Maverick. You can use it on everyone. And lastly, for our gadgets, you have flashes and you have claymores. So flashes are always great. Um, they can burn util. You can use them to kind of create some more space, take some more map control. And claymores are always a free kill. So you can prevent any runouts. And honestly, claymores are always reliable. I don't really use them because I'm more of like a map control taking kind of player. So I usually leave the claymores to someone else. But for me, I would take the flashes. All right, now let's move on to Mavs Blowtorch. So with Mavs Blowtorch, you can do anything with the five cans or the fuel that you have. So the Blowtorch can go through soft walls, reinforced walls, and even electrified walls. So right over here, I made my own rotate hole with just a can and a half. And right over here, I got an easy kill because he didn't know I already breached in. So Mavs true playstyle is to create opportunities for map control. So he has an amazing gun, flashes, and the ability to hard breach. One thing that I like to do with Mav is create a little hole just to contest the best places to sit on site. And yes, Mav can hard breach entire walls by Mav tricking. If you make a whole line across the top and bottom of a reinforced wall, the reinforcement will crumble. And then you can break it as if it were just a soft wall. And if they know you're going to map trick the wall, usually people will try to counter that just by proning on the wall and getting an easy kill on you. So if someone else is watching, then that's a free kill for your team. Generally, it only takes two cans to get a wall open. So you can get two different walls open on a map just using Mav. The common mistake people make when they try to map trick is that they don't put extra care towards the side of the wall in the middle because those have extra durability. So eventually it's going to look like it should be open. And then there's just that little piece that is blocking you from opening up the whole wall. Hatches take two cans as well, and it's much more risky because impacts can do a lot of damage to you as you're getting it. Sometimes you can get hit through nitro, but hatches are health based, so as long as you fully use two cans trying to make a square, then you're going to be just fine, you're going to get the hatch open. And because Mav takes two cans for a hatch, just like a wall, you don't need to bring any EMPs, you can just get both hatches just like on bank by yourself. It just takes a lot of practice, and I know I'm going to be playing a lot of Mav this season, not only because of the skin, but because I've been able to use him as a fragger and a breacher very efficiently. Mav's biggest strengths are annoying the defenders, so it's very tough to fight Mav holes, especially since there's only a limited number of 1.5 scopes on defense. And Mav completely counters any breach denial, so he can be paired with a bunch of other operators like IQ, any soft breaches or nades to amplify his blowtorch ability. And you can really do a lot on the attack with just a duo. One strat you have with Mav that has very little risk is using glass and the smoke to make a one-way Mav line of sight. Here I am playing glass for example, I throw smoke right at the wall, and as soon as it goes off, I get a crouch hole that looks directly in the sight. Overall, Mav opens up a lot of opportunities for the attacking team, and when those blowtorch cans run out, he becomes a very potent fragger, since he has flashes and a 3-shot kill gun guaranteed. In terms of hard breaching, Mav has the highest skill ceiling and a lot of potential paired with it, because there is no way to counter a Mav who has someone covering him. And in terms of fraggers, Ayana is the most picked fragger right now because of her nades in G36C, and the G36 fires 30 RPM faster than the M4, but only does 38 damage compared to 49 on the M4 with extended barrel. 
It's a whole 11 damage that you're missing. Mass Flash can burn you till, and it can result in free kills for you or your team. Not to mention the infinite potential of the Blowtorch, and this makes Mav an excellent all-arounder attacker in the right hands. So while Mav doubles as a fragger and a breacher, he does have some shortcomings, so you're very reliant on your teammates when it comes to actually covering you, and if you Mav trick a wall and your soft breach is already dead, then you just Mav tricked it for no reason. Mav holes can also be a disadvantage because if they do have a 1.5 and it's not that hard of an angle for them to contest, you can get picked off pretty easily. But the Mav holes do have the benefit of creating the illusion that there's more players on one side of the map than there really are. But overall, you can play much more efficiently on Mav than on Ash or Thermite who can get bandit tricked and have no more breach potential. You aren't exactly obligated to Mav trick every wall either. While it is convenient, sometimes you don't have a soft breach, but maybe you do have a Therm who came anyway, then you can have... The util destroyed and then you can have the therm open the wall fully with no risk and you can use your flashes to burn any util there's just so many things that you could do with mav on a wall mav has been in the game since operation grim sky almost five years ago when i hit my first diamond and he used to have frag grenades but today i believe the extra flash does play better in today's meta and the new extended barrel turns the m4 from what used to be a mid ar to one of the last laser beam guns to terrorize the defense Thank you guys for watching. Operation Dread Factor has been a really good season so far, so let us know what you think in the comments about the new season. And are you guys going to rock our new Maverick bundle? Please subscribe to the Elevate channel so you don't miss any of our uploads, including an upcoming collab video between me and the Dangleberries. As for me, I'm Soggy FPS, and I'm going to be streaming a lot of ranked this season, whether it's with my own stack or the Elevate stack, so please stay tuned to all my socials, drop a follow, as I have a lot of big things coming. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.